In business, it always feels that there is not enough time. There is always more to do. That is why I am planning to save 10 hours each week using the DGX Spark. What is the DGX Spark? The DGX Spark is a new supercomputer by NVIDIA. It will appear later this year. It will cost about 4000 US dollars. It has 128 GB of shared memory for the CPU and the GPU. The memory bandwidth is at 273 GB per second. As a result, direct chatting with big LLMs might be a bit slow. If that is your goal, have a look at the Mac Studio and Free Ultra. For example, see my own video on this topic. Why, though, do I still intend to try saving 10 hours per week with a DJX Spark? Because I believe it should be easy to use most tools with it, as it is NVIDIA and Ubuntu based. This ease will translate into less time researching and will hopefully lead to me saving time while building to save time, if that makes sense. I am going to talk about three things in this video, which I plan to automate. I will also give you a rough idea of how I want to go about it. Before I bring up the three things which I have thought of, what is the biggest time killer in your own professional life? The three things from my side are emails, documents and deep research. Let's discuss emails first. People spend about one to two full working days per week just on emails. Have you ever hunted for that email which had important information? Or scrolled through those endless email threads where people started to lose track of information? I've tried one or two AI email systems but was not truly really happy with the results and the flexibility they gave me. I believe that DJX Spark can truly stand out here, because it can process your emails in the background as they arrive around the clock. It will also be able to access all your past emails if you wish. I feel much more comfortable not sharing access to my email inbox, which after all is the key to logins on many websites. I am planning to build several solutions here. One, I want several actions to be automated. I wanted to forward all invoices to our accounting email address. I wanted to automatically forward sales inquiries to my colleagues in inside sales. The same for support inquiries. They should go to the right colleagues. This is 2025 after all. We should not have to forward emails manually. Two, I want summaries of these long threads, giving me summarized context, instead of having to re-read the thread again or create summaries separately in Word. I imagine this as being an email which is automatically created just for me and sent every time a thread spans longer than, let's say, three or four messages and a new message arrives. This will give me an edge and this will start shaving those minutes, hours, days off me sitting in my inbox and sifting through emails. Trying different search terms to hunt for that email I know I received two weeks ago, but can't remember exactly when. Talking about search, how about actually chatting to your inbox? Yes, 2025 is here. We should be able to. We should be able to chat with our inbox and ask it questions instead of having to manually search for the information. It should also then show us the full original emails related to the information if we want, so we can build trust in it. And here's a counterintuitive idea. It should pre-compose replies, that is bullet points, extracting information from previous emails, possibly simply things you should keep in mind, which were mentioned before, and possible information. I think it should integrate into my email client. I use Mailbird, for example, instead of me having to learn a new email system. Therefore, a lot of interaction with it will be via email itself. What do you think of these ideas? Do you feel I'm on the right track? Do you think other aspects of email communication need to be addressed too and would save more time? 2. Documents. 
I've actually already been playing around with a so-called Bragg system, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which ChatGPT helped me to code. Here's a confession. I am the type of guy who has 50 or more tabs in Word. And yes, there's a way to have tabs in Word, using a plugin called Office Tab. I highly recommend it. I would not be able to survive without it. In any case, I get lost in a sea of tabs quite regularly and again start hunting for information. It is somewhere, it might not be saved yet, or it might be somewhere on my hard drive. Business is a lot about efficient information processing, and I am an absolute idea and note hoarder, so I have lots and lots of files. I believe just the word files are numbering in the thousands, and this is without PDFs and Excel files. Oh, if I just had more YouTube subscribers than word files, that would make me so happy. Please help out and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you. So I want to apply the same ideas which I am applying to emails to my files. I want information at my fingertips. I want a personal assistant who always remembers, who never forgets. I want someone who will be able to juggle these thousands of files in their memory. I want DJX Spark to be my rag hero. For rags, we do not necessarily need the biggest LLMs. If we pick the right size of LLM, and possibly even a mixture of experts model, DJX Spark should perform beautifully. As another aside, for emails, one further thing DJX Spark could automate would be processing documents. It could extract a summary of attached documents. It could also transform Word documents received from strangers for example CVs, into safer PDF versions and present it to me. This would again shave off minutes to hours each week, so I do not need to delve into the depths of the document to read it or drag it into a web interface. What else? With a huge amount of documents and different projects, tasks to do's and so on going, DGX Spark could suggest a better file structure on my hard drive. It could also extract actionable to-dos from my meeting minutes, which I write in Word and so on. I am thinking of all of this because, frankly, I do not like to use web interfaces for navigating in a file system. I feel they slow me down. And what we are trying to achieve here is, of course, the opposite of slow. DJX Spark will be able to connect to my desktop computer and its hard drive on the local network. Of course, there will be setup involved, but it will have fast access to everything, not requiring for the cloud to be in sync. Also, there are some documents which I would prefer not to put into cloud services. Again, email integration comes to my mind. Possibly we can do a weekly report via email which is based on the emails which we have received and the documents which we have created or which have been created and or updated last week. Avoid and any other relevant content for it, possibly background information and research, which of course brings us to the next idea from my side, background research. But with a twist. Instead of waiting for you to initiate this background research by prompting it, it can scan your documents and your emails. I would program it to recognize where you typically might want additional background information. Let's say if we get leads from a certain company. It could automatically prepare a small dossier on this company, possibly even highlight LinkedIn posts the individual contacting us has contributed linking to them, augmenting information automatically, and providing it to you as a report. Also, imagine having long-standing automatic research tasks going, which monitor what your competitors are doing, what the market is doing, surfacing relevant blog posts, Reddit threads, Twitter conversations. Conversations where you could contribute, possibly even suggesting some responses, pulling from your notes and ideas. Again, again taking my counterintuitive idea from before a bit further, how about we are able to click anywhere on the website for just hose in information. For example, if it's a forum thread, DJX Spark would read through it and quickly pull together information from your rag relevant for the forum thread or in your Sendesk account. The key being that information is pulled from your local files. You own your own files and you do not have to upload or synchronize anything into the cloud. Now, to be honest, I feel we might hit a throughput challenge with these harder real-time operations on DJX Spark. We will have to see. LLMs also get better and have faster throughput. There's a lot of innovation going on here. This, 
brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this discussion of what could be possible and soon. Do you have any ideas you want to add or feel that a computer like BJX Spark could address? Comment below. The future is so bright I have to wear shades. Subscribe if you like this video. Thank you and have a fantastic day.